So we have Sridhar Swami's commentary, and then Vishnath Madhvachari and Srila Prabhupada. So Sridhar Maharaj, he, he doesn't say very much on this particular point. He says this, this verse is talking about positive emotions or negative emotions by fear or lust or anger or affection or intimacy or attachment. One should become attached to Krishna, approach him, offer these feelings, be they positive or negative, solely and completely to Bhagavan Sri Krishna, and they will benefit us, they will liberate us and give us love. And then he says, Sridhar Maharaj, Sridhar Swami rather, is very brief. Therefore, what Shukadeva Goswami is saying, to become somehow or other attached to Krishna is the cause of liberation. Because he, the, the whole idea here is that the gopis became attached by lust and they became so-called lust and they became liberated from all their negative qualities and, of course, the perfection of life. So he says, he says that. And now Vishnu Chakravarti says a little bit more. He says, listen, Prikshit, you should understand the conclusion very clearly. The Braja Gopis and others always offered their lust or their mood of lust. They worship Krishna with a mood of lust. They offer their lust to Krishna. Shishupal offered his hatred. Vanacharya, trans he writes it, he translates Vishnu commentaries, offered his lust, offered his hatred, offered his fear. And BBT says they worshipped. It's a very interesting thing. Because if you worship someone, you offer something to them. Yes? Patram Pushpam, you're worshipping Krishna, you offer something. You're doing puja, then you offer something. It's called worship, archan, that you're actually offering. And the ultimate offering is bhakti prachiti. It's your heart, your devotion. Okay, so many external objects are there. Some agri puja, some agri leaves and flowers and chandan and sandalwood and boga and water and poshak, dress and vaish. But the real thing is the backing, the, the ingredient of loving, favorable loving devotion with a mood to please, the mood to satisfy without any independent selfishness or mood of enjoyment. So that loving quality is what most pleases Krishna in any offering or any puja or worship. So we have, we're, we feel lusty that we should offer, or, Krishna, I'm offering my lust to you. <laughs> Instead of writing Patram Pushram Palam Toyam. Sometimes we make a joke. It says we should worship Krishna with love and devotion. We have that phrase, right? We should worship Krishna with love and devotion. We should offer these things. Anyone who offers me a leaf, a flower, water, or uh, fruit with love and devotion, so generally our offerings are very quick. So I see anyone who offers me water and food and fruits with lust and commotion. <laughs> Instead of love and devotion, lust and commotion. Commotion means passion, fast, fatafat. 